Hey Climbers, it's Ryan Mullen here and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be looking into Sheldon Cooper from the Big Bang Theory and how similar or different he is to me. For those of you who haven't seen the show or haven't heard of the show, the Big Bang Theory is an American sitcom that ran from 2007 to 2019 and it was based on a group of genius scientists struggling socially in the real world. And of course, Sheldon Cooper is no exception. In the show, Sheldon Cooper is a theoretical physicist with obvious autistic traits, but hasn't formally been diagnosed as autistic. The character wasn't even written to be autistic, it's just that the writers coincidentally just included so many autistic traits in his personality when writing the character. And although he's a fictional character, he is very relatable amongst the male autistic community in the real world today. This is mostly due to the autistic stereotypes in the writing of this character, which has its own pros and cons, but that's not what I'm trying to explore in this specific video. I just thought it'd be fun to dive into his and my personalities and see if there was any similarities or differences in our autistic traits. Physically, I've been compared to Sheldon Cooper for such a long time now, and I thought it would be interesting to see if our personalities matched as well as our physical appearances. I've listed 10 autistic traits of Sheldon Cooper's, and I'm going to be quite critical of my own personality here as well, just to see what results I actually find, if any. I've kind of made this into like a competition, almost like a football match, and I'm starting the scores at 10 nil to Sheldon, because obviously Sheldon has all 10 of these autistic traits. And I'm going to increase my own score by one when one of his autistic traits matches one of mine. And without further ado, here we go. Autistic trait number one, sameness. The same everything. Eating the same food on the same nights of the week. Food needing to be served to him in very specific ways. Sheldon Cooper's knocking routine, his toilet routine, his travel routine. Having his same spot on the couch. His same laugh, his catchphrases like bazinga. Finding comfort in extreme structure. Not needing to plan his time well because he knows what is happening every single day of the week. You know, all this stuff is a huge autistic trait in so many autistic people. But do these specific traits match mine? No. Hell no. I cannot eat the same foods on the same days. I cannot have a toilet routine. I go when I need to go. I cannot do the same things every single day. I don't have a knocking routine. I don't sit in one specific spot on the couch. This is a very common autistic trait. But for Sheldon Cooper, in the writing of the Big Bang Theory, they played this to the extreme. And simply put, these traits do not match my personality, and the score currently remains at 10 nil. Autistic trait number two, having meltdowns or being burnt out or being confused when something changes when you're expecting something to happen. Now, I just want to point out clear that Although this can link to having extreme routines, I just want to point out that this doesn't always have to be the case. You can expect something to happen when you've scheduled a doctor's appointment, for example, at 10am. But say if the doctors phone you and they now say that your appointment is now at 12 because they've had to change it, that is a change. That can be debilitating for autistic people who have a routine or may have a structure. There can also be confusion in why there wasn't a backup plan or why people didn't plan for the unexpected. Or someone might do something and then do the exact opposite. This could be in a social situation or in a political situation when there's a very sudden change. A prime example of this could be lockdown. And simply put, Yes, 
this trait does match mine. Because although I don't have an extreme routine, if I'm expecting something to happen at say 12, and this doesn't happen till half 12, I'll be confused, I'll be burnt out, I'll be angry, I'll be worried, I'll be frustrated for that half an hour period. And it's something that shouldn't really anger me, but it does. So yeah, the score is now at 10-1 because this trait does match mine. And you do see this a lot in Sheldon Cooper's character as well. Autistic trait number three, obsessive special interests. Oh boy, this is a big one. Yes, a million percent. So for Sheldon, his obsessive interests outside of work would be superheroes or comic books or trains or whatever it is. For me, it's music, it's artists, it's movies, it's TV shows like The Big Bang Theory. It's so many things in the cultural world for me personally. And yes, I do obsess over so many different things. Some of them quite specific, some quite broad. So I obsess over both music and artists, such as Eminem, for example. And this is one of the most common autistic traits, the same as sameness. We're currently at 10-2 to Sheldon. Autistic trait number four, info dumping. Another big one for me, yes, especially in social situations. Admittedly, this does happen more when I've had a few alcoholic drinks and I go on rabbiting for hours and hours. But yes, I do info dump about my obsessive interests. A lot of autistic people can't actually help but info dump on their specific subjects. This is their way of showing you that they care about being in social situations. They care about the conversation and they want to carry on this conversation. So they will go into extreme details on their specific subjects that they're passionate about. This is something that Sheldon Cooper would do with superheroes. This is something that I would do with music. So yes, definitely. So yes, the score is currently 10-3 to Sheldon. Autistic trait number five, having a high IQ but a lack of social skills. For me, this autistic trait doesn't really match my personality because I am a very sociable person. I work in social situations, I go out in social situations, I go down to the pub, I sing karaoke with my friends. I actually do a lot of social things outside work and over my life I've built up a set of social skills that I use. It might have taken me a bit longer in my childhood to establish those skills and learn from them, but I have got a set of social skills that I use in everyday situations that Sheldon Cooper clearly doesn't have. And another thing about this is I don't necessarily have a high IQ, like I am not a genius and, I, and I've never claimed to be one. Another difference here is Sheldon is in a fact-based field. He works with maths and he works with science. For me, I don't. And there was an episode of The Big Bang Theory where Sheldon uses a graph to help him make friends with one of his colleagues. And yeah, that is nothing to do with me. That is not me. I don't use maths or any kind of logic to make friends. I just use the social skills that I've learned over time. So no, this does not match me. And the score is still currently 10-3 to Sheldon. Autistic trait number six, appearing emotionless and not being able to process or express their emotions. The idea of knowing what's going on inside your head, but not being able to express it to other people. And because of that, they will then get confused or burnt out or annoyed at themselves. If I'm going to be really critical of myself, I would say to a certain extent, yes, this does match my personality. But I think this really only matches my personality when I'm in a romantic relationship. Because my first serious partner, they actually said that I was always unromantic because I didn't express my love and so on and so forth. When I actually did 
but it might have just not been in ways that was expected. And I think this matches Sheldon Cooper's love life when he first met Amy Farrah Fowler as well. So I'm gonna bump up the scores once again, so that's gonna be 10-4 to Sheldon. Autistic trait number seven, unable to understand or recognize humor, irony, sarcasm, satire, and so on and so forth. This does not match my personality whatsoever because I am a complete joker. I love comedy, I love sitcoms like The Big Bang Theory. The fact that I like watching The Big Bang Theory proves the point that I am interested in humour. And Sheldon Cooper clearly does not like, I think there's an early episode of The Big Bang Theory where Leonard holds up a sarcasm sign for Sheldon. And the score is still 10-4 to Sheldon. Autistic trait number eight, lacking in empathy, not recognising when to congratulate people on their achievements if they're not yours or if you think that their achievements are bad. Or if somebody does something good for themselves but you see it as a bad thing and you can see potential problems with that action later down the line and because of that you don't really see why they ever did it for themselves in the first place or maybe saying congratulations to somebody but without actually meaning it because you may see problems with their actions yes I'm not gonna lie this is a big one for me personally and it shouldn't be this way, and I think out of all 10 of these autistic traits, I think this one is the one that matches our personalities the most. And I think it's one of the most personal ones to me, because I think out of all of these autistic traits, I think it's the one that I'm the most insecure about. And yeah, my empathy is not great. I can sympathize, but I can't always empathize unless it's something in common with my life or if I genuinely see good things with people's achievements or if I think something that somebody does is bad I'm gonna call it out for what it is I'm gonna say that it's bad and I know that's not expected under social conventions but if I see something that's wrong I'm gonna call it out for what it is I'm gonna say that it's wrong and yeah Sheldon does this a lot as well, especially with Howard Wolowitz, with his achievements with MIT and so on and so forth. I don't necessarily take the piss out of people's achievements, and obviously Sheldon does with Howard Wolowitz, but if I see something that somebody else does as being problematic, I am going to say that. So for that reason, I'm going to have to bump up the scores, unfortunately, once again, and the score is currently 10-5 to Sheldon. Autistic trait number nine, not caring for romantic or sexual relationships and not understanding certain things such as sexuality or boundaries or libido or consent. This trait is a complete contrast to Sheldon Cooper and myself. I love being in romantic and sexual relationships and although I'm single right now, I still actively look to be in relationships in the future. And along with the sexuality, libido, boundaries and consent thing, none of that matches my personality either because I understand, I recognize consent, boundaries, I understand sexuality and I understand libido and so on and so forth. I don't want this to get too graphic because this is a family friendly channel but simply put this trait does not match Sheldon Cooper or me whatsoever because I love romance and although I may not show my love as I was speaking about earlier. The fact of the matter is I enjoy being in that situation and actively want to be in one. So at this point in time, the score remains at 10-5 to Sheldon. And the final autistic trait number 10 is Sheldon Cooper being a white male. I think the reason is obvious as to why they decided to write autistic traits into Sheldon Cooper, a white male American character from Texas, as opposed to a character like Raj, who is Indian. But simply put, certain races and backgrounds aren't studied by psychologists 
when talking about autism. Those kinds of backgrounds are not commonly linked to autism. White males are. And the question that I have here is, would it work if they gave autistic traits to a character like Raj? And in my opinion, I think it might work if the actor played the character well in that way, but the fact is audiences wouldn't see an autistic character in Raj simply because of his race, but they would see it in a character like Sheldon who is white. It shouldn't be this way, but the fact of the matter is it is this way and audiences would find autistic traits more relatable in a character like Sheldon than Raj. And simply because of the fact that I am white and Sheldon is white, these traits match. So I'm gonna bump up the scores to 10-6 to Sheldon. And that is it guys, the competition is over and the overall score is 10-6 to Sheldon. Out of all 10 of these autistic traits that I have picked out for Sheldon, my personality matches 60% of these traits. Do with that information as you will, but I actually find that information really, really interesting that a fictional character can possess genuine autistic traits in the real world without having that character formally diagnosed as autistic. And that makes Sheldon Cooper's character very unique when talking about autism in fictional TV shows. That makes it different to Rain Man, Forrest Gump, or The Good Doctor, or Atypical, or The A-Word, and so on and so on, because these characters are officially diagnosed. Sheldon Cooper is not diagnosed, yet if he was a real person in the real world, he would get diagnosed as a child like that. So yeah, to wrap this up, the overall score is 10-6 to Sheldon. Well, that's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, or if you found it funny or entertaining, then please give it a like and a comment, and share it with your loved ones, your friends and family. While you're there, please subscribe to my channel and ring my notification bell down there so that you don't miss a single video. Please also follow me on my social media and view my website if you haven't already. The links to all of that are in the description box below. My music is also in that description box below along with my social media sites and if you like this video then I would strongly recommend you check out my music as well. If you're a creative climber like me then I would love to see your work, I really really would, so please share it with me on my social media by tagging me in it. And if this is your first time here on my channel then welcome, I'm really glad you're here and I hope you come back sometime very very soon. And finally, thank you guys for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great week, and I'll see you next week for a brand new video. Keep climbing high, guys. I've been Ryan Mullen from Creative Climbers. Ciao for now. Peace and love.